under this topic called the special products first of all let us discuss about the definition of the special products the meaning of the special product or in other words called as identity special products are in other words it is called an identity so here identity is nothing but or in other words special product is nothing but the equality it is nothing but an equality which is true for all values of the variable which is present in it so an equation consists of the variable when the when that variable satisfies for all real values then that product will be called as the special product or an identity so now the definition of the identity or in other words the special products so here it is an equality which is true for all real values of the variable or all values of the variable that is present in the equality is called an identity or the special product so here let us i mean perform one instance or an example or the illustration for instance so here let us consider one equality that is 7x minus 5x 5x is of negative sign and 7x is of positive sign plus of minus is minus you have to subtract 7x minus 5x is of 2x that is 7 minus greater minus least 7 minus 5 is of 2 that is 2x then the 2x assess the sign because the among 2 and 7 and 5 7 is greater sign is of positive so you will getting 2x as the right hand side so this is an equality so here the left hand side quantity that is 7x minus 5x is equals to 2x which is on the right hand side but it must satisfy this equality must satisfy that is the variable must satisfy in this the in this present time inequality the variable is of x so variable must satisfy each and every real value each and every value then it will come under the special product so here for for x is equals to 1 let us substitute x as 1 then that implies 7 into x value as 1 minus 5 into x represent i mean replaced by means of 1 equals to 2 into x again substituted by means of this 1 on the right hand side also so that implies 7 into 1 is of 7 minus 5 once is of 5 that is equals to 2 once is of 2 so that implies simplification of plus 7 and minus 5 plus of minus is minus so we have to subtract 7 minus 5 is of 2 greater minus least is of 2 so 7 is of greater i mean 7 is the greater among 7 and 5 so its sign is of positive so it assesses the positive sign but the right hand side is also of positive 2 the condition is true since the condition is true so here this is true this equality is true for the real value that is the x equals to 1 so let us see for x is equals to minus 1 for is x is equals to minus 1 or i mean x at x is equals to minus 1 so here the equality is of 7x minus 5x equals to 2x then x must be replaced by means of minus 1 in this equality so 7 into that implies 7 into minus 1 minus 5 into minus 1 then that is equals to 2 into minus 1 7 into minus 1 is of minus 7 minus of minus is plus so that implies positive 7 plus into minus is of minus 7 once is of 7 minus of minus is of plus 
5 ones are is of 5 equal to so positive 2 into minus 1 that is plus into minus is of minus 2 ones are is of 2 by further simplification minus 7 plus 5 minus into plus is of minus we have to subtract greater minus least that is 7 minus 5 is of 2 but 7 is greater is sign is of negative we will be getting minus 2 on the left hand side and similarly minus 2 is on the right hand side then the next logical step will be of that implies minus 2 by the further simplification of the previous logical step so that equals to minus 2 is already there on the right hand side but minus 2 is equals to minus 2 so LHS and RHS quantities are equal therefore the condition is true so in this manner so here 7x minus 5x equals to 2x is a identity or the special product which is true for all the values of the variable that is x then now let us let us discuss about the some special products under some sp special products special products are in other words called as the identities so we are going to discuss say here in this topic the first one that is the first identity that is x plus a into x plus b the product of x plus a that is one binomial with the product of with the another binomial that is x plus b so here identity number one so in this identity number one the product of x plus a into x plus b equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b is our first identity so first of all let us prove it algebraically then later geometrically so here we have to prove this i mean identity so algebraically and as well as geometrically first of all we are going to address prove it algebraically so this is the identity which we are going to prove now proof for the identity so i am going to take lhs quantity so here the lhs quantity is of x plus a into x plus b then that implies so let us multiply first term in the first bracket is of x then let us multiply the entire second bracket that is x plus b first of all with first term that is x so x into entire bracket that is the second bracket x plus b plus second term that is a multiplied with the entire bracket that is the second bracket so x into second bracket plus a into the second bracket that implies let us multiply here x with x the latter with b a with x the latter with b so here in this manner is we will getting x into x square x into x as x square plus x into b as xb plus a into x as ax plus into plus of plus then now a into b is nothing but ab so that implies x square term is of only one so let us write the square term as it is plus among the terms bx and as well as ax these two terms since these two are like terms because the variable is same x and x i am going to take x as common now if x is taken as common if x is taken out as common so here b is left over plus x is already taken out as common so plus a is left over within the bracket plus constant that is ab is written as it is so in this manner i got so therefore x plus a product of these two binomial that is x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus b plus a can also be written as a plus b into x plus a b so here x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b 
x square plus a plus b in, into x plus a b. So, here in this manner we have proved. So, here this condition that is the first identity algebraically. Then later let us prove the condition that is the first identity is x plus a into x plus b equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b geometrically. Now, geometrical proof. Now, geometrical proof of x plus a into x plus b equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So, in the geometrical proof, let us consider one rectangle a b c d. So, here the figure in our figure, I am going to what I say consider one rectangle. So, in this rectangle, that is a b c d so i want to divide a d b c by means of g h similarly i want to divide a b and d c by means of one more line that is E of. So, in this manner I say we have assumed let or let us consider a rectangle A B C D such that side a b equals to x plus b units. So, now we have to assume. So, here a e I am going to assume the length of a e as x and e b as b units. Therefore, in this manner I say I will be getting the entire length of a b a to b as x plus b which is the length of a b as x plus b in the similar manner i want to assume so here a d a d as x plus a such that i am going to assume so here a g as x 